Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Chen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I got this look. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get a post notification shout out, make sure you be the first to comment on the video and I'll shout you out in my next video. So with that said, let's get into the video. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great Today I'm going to do a bold eye look with lots of colors for you guys I have gone ahead and I've uh, done my eyebrows off camera so I am going to go ahead and prime my face. Now I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I am going to set the base for my eyelids so Once I'm done doing my base for my eyeshadow, I am going to set that just so the product will apply more smoothly, more smoothly. And I'm just using a setting powder for this. You could use any loose powder. Push it in to your skin. And then you just brush off any excess powder. And for my powder, this is what I use. Now, the fun part. Playing around in colors. This is the palette that I that I'm gonna be using, and I think I want to do Jamaican colors today. I'm gonna represent my country. For this, I will be using highlighter brushes or concealer brushes, just because I'm gonna pack my color on, I'm not gonna swipe. So, I am gonna go in with this yellow right there for my gold. And I'm gonna start right at the corner of my eye. Usually I'll use a white base for this so my colors will pop more, but a girl went to go get the base and a girl forgot it. So I'm just going to make do with what I have. That's the one thing I went to the, the store for and I forgot it. I bought everything else that I didn't need, that I didn't go there for. You just keep packing it on until you get your desired shade.
Now I'm going to go in with that green right here. And then I am going to go in with that black right there on the outer corner of my lid. And again, we're patting it on. You're going to go back in with your green just to blend out any harsh line that from the black that you put on. Just blend it. Pretty much you're just overlapping the colors. And the same thing with the yellow. You're just gonna overlap the colors just to blend out any harsh lines. See? So now that you've seen how I've done the layers, I am gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera just because I don't want the video too long and then I'll come right back. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush to blend out any harsh lines from the top. And you're going to go in a wiper motion, like your windshield wiper motion, just to blend out any harsh lines. Softly. We're not going to, we don't want to do too hard. You don't want to spread the product around too much. All right, just softly. Now, if you notice in this video, I'm doing my transitions color last. Only because I'm working with bold colors and earth tone colors. So I'm going to go in with this, this brown right there. It's almost like a nude, but it's actually a brown. And this color is going to go just from my brow bone and to blend out any harsh lines. from the bold colors the blend guys back home in Jamaica them always say anything spoil a style so if you're blending and you get messed up a little bit, don't get discouraged. Just keep blending and turn it into your own style. When I started, I did a lot of that. On top of that, I'm going to go in with the darker brown. Just to give it a little bit of definition. And brown works very well with the colors that we're using today. Because brown is an earth tone color, so it works very well with the yellow or the gold and the green. It works very well. Notice. See, oh, the harsh line has somewhat disappeared. Now, I'm trying to speed up the video. I don't want the video to go too long. So I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl foundation. And this is a matte color. I do have oily skin, so I tend to stay with only matte colors. Only because I get a girl get real oily. You could fry. A girl will look like fried chicken. Trust me.
This is full coverage, so I don't need a lot. And you pat it into your skin. Don't swipe. Just pat. Be. Doing makeup, you have to have patience. I am going to go finish applying all this stuff and I'll be right back. I'm going to highlight and I'm using Just a damp beauty blender that I'm going in with to blend this out. Again guys, don't rub, just pat the product into your skin. If you have to blend it in for 10 minutes, do that. Because it just pays off to spend time blending the stuff into your skin as opposed to just shoving it in and swiping it all over and highlight my nose a girl's got big nose so a girl's gotta highlight it Once you're done highlighting, just go in again with your foundation brush just to take out the harsh lines from your highlight. I'm just going to put a little contour. I like to contour my face because because I have a round face, it gives my face a little bit more definition. And I'm gonna go back in again with my same foundation brush just to cover up any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna set my face. Wherever I have my highlight, I am going to set my face. And this is the same loose powder, setting powder that I used when I started my eyebrows. You just push the product into your skin until it goes away. Like, don't wipe. You could put it on and leave it if you want to bake. I don't bake. Okay, honey, let's try to get this big old nose a little smaller. So I am going to contour my nose. Everybody has their own method of doing things. This is just how I do mine. I mean, this is very beginner friendly. And now I'm gonna blend this out. Yes, honey, look at how chiseled that bitch looks. Now, we are gonna put on some eyeliner. just to bring out the eyes a little bit. 
When you apply eyeliner, you just want to go right above your lash line. You want it to look as natural as possible. I'm not going to do a wing just because I already have that black on the end. Let me tell you, when I started doing makeup, it took me like about a year to learn how to put on eyeliner. I could not get it for the love of me. I would try everything and just wasn't my friend. Nope. Right? It just was not my friend. It would not work for me. Today, I'm going to actually... I'm not going to do any magnetic lashes, so I am going to put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to go in with, we're going to put some eyeliner on your bottom, in your waterline. just to make your eyes pop a bit. And this is just a regular black eyeliner I'm using. Now, that gold color, that yellow color that we use on our eye, we're gonna go right along the base of your lash with that same color. And then you're gonna go in with your green. The same green we use, we're gonna go on the outer corner of her eyes with this. And then you're gonna put some mascara on your bottom lashes, just to bring them out. You can't have all of your eyes sticking out or popping and you have no lashes at the bottom. That just doesn't work. I find putting mascara on your bottom lashes really opens up your eyes a bit. If you have to go to work and you're tired because you partied hard the next the day before, just pop some mascara on your bottom lashes that will wake you up you'll be sitting at your desk sleeping and your boss thinks you're still awake now comes the fun part i am going to be trying this cover girl highlighter for the first i'm not sure exactly how it's gonna, how i'm gonna like it i'm very finicky when it comes to my highlighters because we know a girl likes to highlight the hell out of her face. So, this, this is the one that I'm going in with. And I am going to go in with this pretty gold right there. Ooh, yes, honey. Look at that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I think I found me a new best friend. Ooh. Suki, Suki. Oh, yes, honey. Look at that highlight pop, guys. Mm-hmm. Sitting out here looking like a rich bitch. You know I gotta get some up on the hair. Look at that glow, guys. Tell me that's not pretty. Oh, -hmm. look at that. Just look at that glow. I love this highlight. It's doing good. 
Okay, I've gone ahead on, I've set all that on my face. And this is what I use, my finishing spray. Now it's time to get these lips popping. And I think, I think I want to go with some, maybe, I think I'm going to go with this green. It's like a shimmery green, so it's almost like a gold. Lips. And it's a lip liner. I'm just going to use a lip liner. And I think today I'm going to go with an um, ombre. So, there you go, honey. I am going to finish off my look with Mega Tie Up My Head. I can't afford to have this face all beat and looking all nice. And my hair looking like a hot mess. So, I'm going to take it back to my roots. Yes, honey. Taking it back all the way back to Mother Africa. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Now, with this look, you could just finish it up with some nice earrings, and you're good to go. Let me know what you think about this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.